and welcome back to Lama's Green Music Studio. Today I'm going to talk about bow maintenance. So when we store our bow in our case, we store it in its loosened state. So that should look like this, where you see some individual hairs and it looks visibly loose against the wood. The horse hair looks visibly loose. And I've done that by using this screw here. Now when you take it out of the case to play, you'll start to turn the screw counterclockwise, and I'll lower it here. As you can see, as I'm turning this, the bow is starting to get tighter. The hair is starting to get tighter. So I'm looking at this spot here, which is about 60% of the way up the bow, just over halfway, to decide when to stop. And the way I decide when to stop is that this space should be about the same width as the wood is. And this means that you're not gonna get a rectangle shape, that the wood of the bow is still gonna be bent. And so if you see a rectangle between the hair and the wood, your bow's too tight. So loosen it a little bit. So this is about the tightness I would suggest for playing. So now we get our rosin, which is made from tree sap. And this helps our bow grip our string more effectively. And in long strokes, you hold your bow against the rosin, you move the bow up and down. I would say four good bows against the rosin. Now you put the rosin away. Now the problem with rosin is that it can get on your instrument because as you play, your bow is here and the rosin will come off. So just make sure after you've played to wipe the instrument down. Each string with a clean cloth under the strings, under the fingerboard, under the tailpiece, and under the chin rest. Otherwise you're gonna see what looks like a snowstorm right here and if you leave it for too long, you'll have to get it professionally cleaned. Finally, when you're done playing, take that same screw, turn it clockwise, and you'll see the bow start to get looser again. Bring it back to the state where it was when you took it out of the case before you put it back in. I hope this helps you get more use out of your bow before you have to have it cleaned and rehaired. Happy playing!